Hello everyone, TN Outdoors 9. We're going to throw something different at you today. Underwood ammo, 9mm, plus P plus, 115 grain jacketed hollow point. That's right, I said plus P plus. And Underwood's advertised velocity on this is 1,400 feet per second. That's not a number you hear very often relative to 9mm ammo. Several viewers had mentioned this company to me, so I checked out their website. And a couple of things in particular caught my attention. One relative to this specific cartridge, the velocity, 1,400 feet per second. And also, they are using Spear Gold Dot bullets. And if you've been around the channel long enough, you know that I am a huge fan of the bonded bullet from Spear. That's one of my preferred carry loads. Let's point out something else on here. The sun just came out on me. They are using Starline brass. Starline has a very good reputation among reloaders. And note something there, it does not have a plus P or plus P plus designation on the brass, which brings me to a point I'd like to discuss with you right now. What I'm about to say is more important than anything else in the remainder of this video. These velocities, 1400 feet per second, they are for real, exceeded that by a great margin in this Glock 19. Longer barrel, it's gonna be even more than that. So these are for real, this is serious business. Here's my point, if your handgun is not rated for plus P plus or even plus P ammo, don't even go there. You will be putting yourself and anyone near you in great danger by trying to shoot this ammo with these types of pressures if your handgun is not rated for that. And it is your responsibility to confirm this for your handgun. It's not my responsibility, anyone in this forum, anyone in a social networking site, or in all these various online gun forums, which are great great sources of information, but this is really serious business. Pick up the phone, email, write a letter, contact the manufacturer of your handgun to determine if it will handle these pressures. Very, very important. Let's jump back into it and look at these velocities. 1,400 feet per second by comparison. If you look at Spears proprietary product, which is item number 53612, they're coming in at 1,300 feet per second. So you see why I have a little bit of concern on your behalf. Here are my five shots from the four inch barrel Glock 19, measured from 10 feet. Pretty incredible. Everything coming in over 1400 feet per second and the five shot average is 1,434 feet per second. Absolutely smoking along and there is a little bit of recoil in that. So take that into consideration. We're gonna put this into the sim test block from 10 feet and one thing I'm curious to see, now I haven't tested the Spear product at this point, I'll get around to that, but with this additional velocity, does this mean that the bullet is going to have more expansion and could penetrate less? You have to assume that Spear knows what they're doing when they set their velocity at 1300, they don't crank it up to this level. So I think we'll have a pretty good size initial cavity, but beyond that, this is going to be interesting. A little lower than what I preferred, but it's going to make it easier to locate. Also, a quick check all the way around. Confirmed. It's inside the block. This was one of the best cuts I've made on a block in a long time. Right down the middle of where I thought the track was. In fact, I hit the bullet with the knife. We're going to focus on this side. Expansion really taking off. Now, we have a light bullet, but we have that velocity, and that's giving us a high measure of energy, which is going to cause some trauma through here running about an inch wide on this cavity, which runs for approximately five inches, half an inch deep on this side. So we have that working for us, and that's to be expected with a high velocity, fast bullet. Okay, we're moving on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I gotta come back. We are stopping at nine inches. How many of you would have called that or somewhere in that vicinity? Obviously, expansion is off the chart. I'm anxious to get that measurement, but because of that, expansion pretty much to its breaking point we are at nine inches of penetration here's a quick look before i get it cleaned up you can see there is a plug of denim in what is remaining of the hollow point cavity my unofficial estimate is seven eighths of an inch on the expansion the exact measurement is next there is one of the marks and the average measuring around the outside diameter is 0.884 inches 
Retained weight is 114.4 grains. The price point on this product from Underwood is very attractive, as is the velocity. Velocity true and then some. Recoil, you're going to have it. It's a stout load. Please do not forget what I said earlier regarding confirming the status of something like this in your handgun. Terminal performance, this is just a ballistic test, but compared to others, it's going to come down to the classic debate, please be civil, between penetration and expansion. When you have something that's cranked up on the velocity like this, there's going to be a compromise. Expansion, penetration. Which do you want? Which are you willing to compromise on? That's what it comes down to. Thanks for watching.